Welcome back, my lambs. It's Magic Mondays. That's right, the Mondays where I play Magic, and we're here with a beautiful, his not historic, it's timeless. This deck is timeless, and uh, we're, we're going to play Enchantress, kind of. We're going to be Ruined Haloing and Gideon's Interventioning, Ixalan's Binding. We're going to make it so our opponent can't cast spells. Uh, Leyline Sanctity has been so good in Histor or in Timeless right now because most play people are just playing like Grixis, Destroy Your Hand, things like that, things that target players. So uh, we're going to stop them from playing the game. A single Heroic Intervention to really get them if they try and wrath us. Uh, we need Gideon's Intervention because we can't be... If we get Farewell, we're, we're done. We have to give up. We're playing Omen Path Journey as our main win condition with our Field of the Deads. A way to bring all of our lands into play. We're playing a bunch of lands. Nykthos, obviously, and Field of the Dead, big ones. Then just a bunch of one-of stuff, some basic lands. Uh, Torpor Orb is a one-of. Uh, nothing in our deck has a come to play ability. That's a creature. So, I mean, it's just free. We can stop, uh, you know, Primeval Titans, things like that. And, uh, yeah. Uh, other Field of the Dead decks are probably our worst matchup. Uh, so that's why we have Stone Brains. We got Rest in Peace in the sideboard, some swords in case, like, some really fast aggro. Final Showdown's a good way to get rid of, like, indestructible creatures. Uh, Authority of the Consoles. Uh, also good. That's it. Uh, yeah, so we... If we do all these modes, which we can definitely easily do with, uh, Nykthos and a whole bunch of stuff... We get the indestructible stuff, they don't. So we can kind of one way do that. Ghostly Prisons are real way against Field of the Dead, because they're going to have to pay two for each each uh, creature attacking us. Because we can't name we can't name tokens with Hale, Ruined Halo. And that's, that's the real thing. Uh, win conditions, obviously, Field of the Dead, Emrakul, Approach to the Second Sun, are like backup, backup. Uh, we're playing 69 cards, because, you know, why not? Let's do it. Let's uh, let's dive in. Let's show let's show these timeless players. Let's show these timeless players what's what. Let's put ley lines into play, and uh, hopefully just brick fifty percent of their decks. That's what we're banking on. Uh, we also have the shroud enchantments make our stuff give shroud so they can't target it. Uh, but yeah. We'll see how it goes. Currently waiting. So that's... That's going. Gives me time to just sit and drink my coffee, I guess. Talk to you. My fellow watcher. I hope your day is going well. And you're just watching out. Oh my god. Oh my god. A full minute? No one's playing Timeless. That's what's happening. Never mind. Someone's playing Timeless. Thanks, Spence boys. Thanks for playing Timeless so we can... Uh, ooh. It's kind of risky, because we don't have any protection. Let's give it a go. We don't know what they're playing anyways. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. We're gonna start with this. Uh, yeah, we'll keep a presence. We have a labyrinth, which is kind of funny. Oh my god, Torque Orb's gonna be so good. Very nice. Uh, we are going to labyrinth. Here's a ball. Do you like our ball? I said this was our worst matchup, and now here we are. But maybe, maybe uh. Maybe they can't do anything. Maybe if we just play our Enchantress's Presences, we'll just win the game. Sure. They don't get their one trigger. I mean, Sterling Grove's a little late. Prairie. I mean, I guess I have to Grove just in case. Gideon's Intervention's good. Dust Bowl's bad. Wow. I mean, sure. Yeah, Dust Bowl might take us out of this game. 
They get two lands. So, okay, interesting. We're gonna get him. Ixalan's binding on top. Nick those. Ixalan's binding. Hell yeah. No more Titan. No more Titans. Sure. Yep. Hold on, King. That's not great. No unique lands. Once upon a time. Sure. Uh, they have Crater Hoof? Maybe. Do we play? I think we... Gideon's Intervention. Natural Order. And that will get rid of... Yeah, we're going to Gideon's Intervention. Natural Order. We're still drawing cards off our stuff. Woo, Batral Order. Give me that end. Give me that end. Let's go natural order. Sure. I mean, it's not great for us, but we're, we're getting there. Crater Hoof? I'm oh, they don't get a search. Torque Orb. Oh, you sweet, sweet card. Let's uh, get him for damage. Nah, we're just going to keep drawing cards. I think keeping drawing cards is probably the best way to go. Alright, now we're in trouble. To find a way through this... And they're going to keep on dust bowling us. Sure. Mm, not what we're looking for. Let's do Nick those. This. Draw two. Okay, this is good. Okay, starting next turn, we should be able to get them. Okay, once upon a time. Okay, we can't cast Primeval Titan. So I don't care too much about that. See if this will be good, because I'll start gaining life. So land, Sithis. Draw two cards. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Vanishing Light? Ooh, Splenda. Splenda might be where we want to be. Uh, I think we're just going to kill one of these. Start banishing like the tokens. Will this card a windswept tea? No. Uh, Leyline Sanctity, we don't need. Okay. Oh, they got Crater Hoof. Okay. Oh, hold on. Is that game? Five. Block there. Not quite game yet. Uh, what do we got? Banishing Light? <laughs> Intervention, not what we're looking for. Uh, yeah, I think that's game. Okay. So, we're gonna bring in... We got some cards to bring in. Ley Lines, bat down. So we don't need any Ley Lines in this match. Ley Lines, Sanctity, down, down. Down, down. Banishing Light, honestly, probably just... Go down one of those, go down... Uh, heroic Intervention's probably pretty good. We do want those. Approach the second sun, Overwhelming Splendor. Approach will go away. We will... Authority of the Consoles. Ghostly Prison. Uh, we'll definitely take at least one Wrath. Two of these. Any way to make our lands not get hit? Not really. Alright, we'll run it like that. Torpor Orb's big money there.
Now we just want to stone brain them right out of the gate. Hit Field of the Dead. Uh, then we should be able to we should be able to get them from there. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Again, this is a tough one. Can't believe they just had the crater hook. Damn. I think we would have been fine if they didn't. Like first. Oh my god. Uh no, that's not a good hand. Neither is this. Oh, we're looking we're looking bad. Looking bad. Okay, we'll keep this. Uh sure. Gonna get ourselves a scry land or surveil land. Man, why why aren't they just playing like a stupid deck that tries to thought sees us? That's what we want to play against. Yeah, whatever, once upon a time. Okay. Uh yep, yeah, surveil. Uh we'll keep that on top. Sterling Grove is decent. Not a land though. Whoa. What are they gonna put in a play? A land? Damn, they got us. Yep, here's Empath for Primeval Titan, I'm guessing. There there he is. Okay, uh that's probably just game. Yeah, mulling to four isn't gonna isn't gonna cut it. Or five or whatever we mull to. We got grazers. Think you're gonna bog us, sure. Yep, more lands. And now they can cast their primeval type next turn. Yeah, we're in loads of trouble. And this is all we can do. It's turn too late. There's prime time. Oh, we have faithful showdown, final showdown. So we might be able to get through this. Yeah. Oh, that's bad. Uh, yeah, we'll block one. I mean, we're already Gideon's Intervention Prime Evil Titan. Uh, Prime Evil Titan. Prime Evil Bounty? No, Prime Evil Titan. Here we go. He won't be able to deal us damage anymore. But the zombies certainly can. Sure, sure. They're going to get a bunch of stuff. I wish I could same. I can only name cards. The Field of the Dead tokens are going to get us. Uh, so we need to draw... something. Yeah. We're getting dust bowled out of this game. I mean, that's hilarious. So I guess we do... Yeah, I guess we can do this. Throw to the consoles. Greater Oromancy. End the turn. Uh, did we die? Seven? Oh, there's seven of them? Uh, yeah, that's the game. Yeah, we need a ghostly prison there. Ghostly prison, we could have at least survived because they wouldn't be able to pay enough. But way it goes. All right, not a great start. We played against the one deck we didn't really want to see. A deck that folds to pretty much all of the uh, the decks we're hunting is that what that deck dies to. So you don't see too much of the, that deck kicking around. Especially since people are just playing Surgical Extractions as well. Being able to just thought see Surgical Extraction near Primeval Titan is a surefire way to get your opponent to concede the game. Alright. 
Game two. Our opponent's waiting to choose if they want to play. Will they play? Will they play? Won't they play? We'll play a will they, won't they play. Okay, if they chose to play first. Uh, there's no ley line. We'll keep it though. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep that on top. That's a good way for us to win the game. What are they doing? Land. Could be counter spells. Oh, there's a thought seize. Which uh which shroud card do you want to take? Probably Sterling Grove is better than Greater Oromancy. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Now we definitely know to just lay line. Just get our ley lines. Awesome. Come on, opponent. So strange. Uh, well, we don't have anything to do, so I mean, they got their... T what, what is this? What is this? What? Am I going crazy? What the hell's going on? Gloom? Uh. Yeah. You know what? You got me. You got me, opponent. But oh, we got Splenda. Splenda's great. Uh, let's get Feel the Dead. Nick those. Restless Prairie. Uh, Razor Verge Thicket. And. It's Forest. Nice. We get. Hell yeah, Nick those in play. Uh, eventually, we're just going to be able to give him the Splenda. Uh, we'll hold up Ajano, this champion, next turn. And uh, yeah, we'll just hold up Heroic Intervention, this, unless we get something sweet. But I, I really do want to hold up Ajano to kill a champion of the Parish. Yep. We'll take a pile of damage. I mean, I'll play a second Sterling Grove. That solves some problems. End the turn. We get another land. Uh, so now when we get Field of the Dead, we'll actually get zombies to play untapped. Uh, sure. They can take overwhelming splendor. They have to. They can't take a Jano. Yep. Good stuff. Are we going to attacks? Good. We'll lose a life. So we will. What are we going to get? I think we're just going to get. I think we just get Ixalan's Binding. Cast Ixalan's Binding. 
Dragon Calf Captain. And just hold up. We have the heroic intervention if they have anything. And eventually we'll get our get our thing out. We're sitting nice. Uh, they have a lot of colors and a lot of zombies. They're gonna collect a company. I mean there's not much I can do about that. Okay. That doesn't bother me much. Perfect. And the turn. Hopefully we hit the right land. We hit the wrong land. But that's okay. We can prairie. Uh, double block. Who's the battlefield? Ooh, okay. Pass. Good. So now we get to do this. Resolve. We will... Block here. Block here. Heroic intervention. They get a look. Sacrifice it. We will cast an Enchantress's Presence, gain a life. Now we should be... Oh, yeah. Excellent. Uh, each opponent loses one life. So, what should I do? Wayward's... Collected Company? Maybe I'll just Gideon's Collected Company. And that should... That should be good. Ooh, nice. We'll say Collected Company. No more of that. Uh, we could besage you. Let's besage you. The world tree. And then we'll start getting zombies. To be able to block, uh... Block this silly little guy. No attacks. We're not attacking. And we finally get our zombie maker. Where's he go? Oh. Nice. We lose a life, they gain a life. They get other damage, but we, we should be able to just draw for oh. Can we, we can cast it? I mean, we're just gonna cast it, right? Yeah, why not? And, uh... No attacks. Good. That was nice. Uh, what do we do? We got... Do we, we probably do just want, like, rest in peace, right? Authority of the consoles, pretty good. Torp orbs, pretty decent. Stops most of their stuff. Uh... We'll go down and approach. We'll go around the Splendor. It seems like they don't have any real way to get rid of our enchantments. So we don't even need like a heroic intervention. We'll just put in two of these. Uh, maybe a rest in peace. Call it a day. We had a pretty bad start. Uh, actually, Ghostly Prison's probably... We'll go down one Ruined Halo and go up Ghostly Prison. Seems like they're gonna probably want to try and, you know, not have their mana open and attack. So let's not give them that option. The more we can play the game for our opponent, the happier I become. Like, I'm playing Emrakul because I could play Mind Slaver. At least Emrakul wins the game. They both bring me immense joy. Uh, but, you know. Sometimes you have to just win the game. Like, I don't think Mindslaver would have made them just concede there. Uh, but Emrakul certainly does, because they know the 13... The 13-13 Flyer Protect from Instance is going to, uh... Gonna cause some problems. We will wait for our opponent. Ooh. 
No, we're too susceptible to just getting bopped. There we go. We'll keep this. Uh, I'll put one of these away. We're going to hope we just draw land. Leyline! Yeah, Leyline's so good. Here we go. We get it. We drew the land as well. So we're going to get we're gonna get all lush up in here. Uh, we'll, we'll put set this away to the graveyard. We don't need that. We'll slam a Sterling Grove next turn. And then just start, probably Sanctum Weaver, into Sethus. We don't draw cards that way, but we'll have much more mana. Be able to solve our problem. So they do have access to all colors, so they might just have enchantment removal. Something we gotta, we gotta kind of worry about. We're playing like five color, five color zombies. It's a pretty interesting uh, style deck. Yep. Whoa. Camera souls on zombies. Who would have guessed? Alright, do they counter spell? Get the hell out of here. Alright. Alright. Uh, the Collecting Company Zombies deck also plays Negate. Did you get a field of ruin me? I have basics though. I play basics. Okay, there's a little wayward. Well, here's a second uh, Sterling Grove. Now if I draw an untapped white source, I probably will sit this into authority. Good old DB. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna Weaver then. Weaver. Uh, no blocks. We'll take five. Yep. You can't feel the ruin my snow covered plains, opponent. Are they gonna do it though? Are they gonna pay a life to do it? I'd be impressed. Hell yeah. We got some gamer action going on. I will get a forest. Uh, I'll uh, take my turn. Gideon's intervention is pretty cool. I could say Wayward Servant, but I think we're going to do this. Set this. Tap this for white. Authority. Ooh, there we go. Now we're talking. And uh, this turns off the Wayward Servant. Now this doesn't trigger. Which is nice. Uh, then I think we're just going to probably Gideon's intervention one of these. Gain some life, draw some cards. Ooh, okay, so. I can... Tap this. Tap this for... White? Omen Path? Okay, you're mana draining. Sure. I mean, we got mana drained, I guess. Draw a card. Can't cast that. No attacks, and the turn. Lots of mana, opponent. What are you gonna do with it all? Collected company? Yep. There it is. What do you got? Torporb start stops my authority from doing anything, but that's okay. Like, this is very funny. What do we got? Oh, rest in peace is kind of great. So we have to turn off one of these things. But first things first, I'm going to cast another Sanctum Weaver. Gain some life, draw a card. Play this. Gideon's Intervention, Ratadabric. Good old Rata. Rata. Redadabric of Urborg. Uh, we'll play a rest in peace, why not? 
we have the stuff for it. We'll gain some life. None of that ever again. We're gonna no attacks because we're gonna have to probably block with set this on one of these. Probably just the wayward servant. Okay, auger in play. Yep, yeah. pass. We're gonna block here. Sure, exiled, doesn't matter. My turn. Leyline Sanctity. So, we're gonna put this into play. Tapped. Play a Sethus. Play a Leyline of Sanctity. Lots of mana. We can Gideon's Intervention, the Wayward Servant. Let's go. Wayward Servant. Bam. Chantress's presence. Gains more life. Uh, play another Sethus. Draw two. Ooh, Besage you. Uh, we'll keep this one. Discard a Besage you. We'll kill this. Make their land mana slightly worse. And, uh,. Next turn, we can just cast Emrakul. Nice. Uh, yep. Pass it up. We're not going to block. Unless they have... I mean, I guess Collected Company might get us. Cool. No blocks. Down to two. Land. Uh, if I do Sterling Grove first, these tap for a million, right? I think they tap for about a million, so this this should be okay. Ooh, banishing Light's nice, so I can just Banishing Light. Banishing Light, Room Halo. Okay, so we're gonna Banishing Light this. Give it all Ruined Halo. We're gonna say Undead Augur. <laughs> Undead Augur. We're gonna say Death Baron. I'm having so much fun. This is probably the best thing I've ever done. Uh, Death Baron, yes. Uh, Enchantress's Presence. I hope they like Presence. Omen Path Journey. Draw three. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, we'll just, uh, we'll give him the love. Uh, that was fun. I had a good time there. I, I, I made sure I had protection from all of their cards. Can't believe they played Negate and Mana Drain in their zombie deck with Collected Company. They Collected Company did nothing. That's why you don't do that. Oh, well. I mean, you know, win some, you lose some. Uh, they lost some. Collected Company. In their five color Mana Drain and their Collected Company five color zombie deck. They didn't make it. They came close though. I mean, I was at two a lot of the times. You could right click a card during the game to zoom in. It gives you more information. You know what? Information's great. Okay. Another opponent, another victim of whatever this is. We're definitely going to keep this. This hand is perfect. Look how beautiful this is. We get to start with Leyline. And then we get to just defend it. Castle. We're gonna Oromancy next. Oh, perfect. Yes. What do they got? Which creature do I get a ruined halo? Idol under the Great Revel is such a good creature. This, oh my god. 
Yes, I will auto pay. I'll take an extra two from this. So now I will never take any more damage. Eidolon of the Great Rabble. Sure, we'll take two. Sure, light it up. Ooh. Okay, so I can't be spike field hazard, so they're probably gonna Dragon Rage Channeler. Uh, which, if I draw a land, oops, skewer, their own creature, got him. We're winning. <laughs> Thank you, Rude Hill. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, <laughs> authority of the console, really good. Overwhelming Splendor, not what we want in this matchup. Omen Path Journey, we're probably going to cut two of those. Torpor Orb, kind of funny as well, but I think we're going to cut that. It's not really a Torpor Orb style deck. Heroic Intervention out. Uh, Ruined Halo is the perfect card. What else do we need? We got three more cards to put in. Uh, Ghostly Prison will be good. Rest in peace. Ashes of the Aborn. Whenever a creature dies, you gain one life. I just want two swords. Two swords will make sense. They'll just be able to, you know, spot removal things. Leyline super important. Uh, without Leyline, we're gonna die. Uh, man, ruined Halo, Eidolon. Ah, it's a, it's a dream come true. Give the goose. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, we still take a lot of damage from that. Alright, so this kinda sucks. We're gonna get a planes. Yeah, planes. Uh, we are gonna go see prison. Take two from this. They might have got a fast enough start on us. Ghostly Prison is going to save us for a bit. It's only three, right? Yeah, three or less. So if we get a land, Gideon's Intervention will at least help us. So they can't hit us with the Eidolon. Gain a life. Good stuff. Do I Enchantress's presence? I mean, I don't think they have a way to destroy anything. I think we just don't cast a spell. Like, if they don't have a land, they're just attacking us for two. They can't target us. So we're just waiting for a land so we can Gideon's intervention. Yep. Okay. Ooh, that's good. So we're gonna do this. Take two. Eidolon of the Great Rebel. Eidolon of the Great Rebel. See how this goes. They draw a land, we still die. Or like a one mana spell they can actually cast. Okay, we die. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
they did read our card. Is that this? Play with fire? Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> That's fine. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Uh, game two. We want more swords. Nah, this'll be good. This'll be fine. All right, we just want... <laughs> Honestly, yeah, we just want uh we just want a rude halo. Rude halo and leyline seem to be the best two options against our opponent. Gaining life, obviously good too. Shroud helps for our creatures. Uh then being able to like searing blood us was bad, so we probably should have started with I, I don't think we had an option to give Shroud. But if we did have an option to give Shroud, we should have done that first. Cause then our um having our Blossoms stick around or whatever it is. Uh means we could have cast all our spells. And really shown our opponent what's what. So I wonder if they have giants and stuff they can get through the protection. But we'll see. We're gonna play first, absolutely. Um I think this is too slow. It's a little Morgan. This is a bad hand. Oh no. Can't lose to them. Our first hand was way better than this. Morgan? Yeah, we'll keep this. Uh, so we just go authority away. Uh, yeah. Uh, ooh, actually. Turn one authority. I think we... Dump this and this. So we turn one authority, well, we ley line authority. And hope our Sanctum Wizard doesn't die. I think that's the only way we're going to win this. Yep. Tapped, gain life. Good stuff. Sanctum Weaver. And hope for the best. We are hoping for the best. We are currently hoping for the best. I hope they just like two mana Eidolon, slam it. Then we can banishing light it. Nah, they're killing it. Yeah. Discharge. Figured as much. Take the damage. Oh, we'll still banishing light this. Banishing light, monastery swift spear. Oh yeah, here we go. That's a huge draw. Uh, especially if they just have burn spells in their hand. We don't have to do anything. There we go. Okay, it paid off. A uh, Lilina Sanctity is kind of crushing our opponent. We get land as well. Good to see. We are going to say Eidolon. Eidolon to the Great Revel. Eidolon. There we go. Look at that. Bobble. They're going to bobble themselves because they can't target us. Very nice. We're going to see what they're going to draw right now. So much info. Like, what do we say? Uh, Dragon Race Channeler? I think that's what we say. Oh my god, and then Monastery Swiss Spear. Uh, Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage Channeler. Right, is the right card? That's the little guy. Look at that silly little gal. Roiling Vortex. Cool. 
Uh, well, that's our win condition now. You ready for this? Yep. Sure. Now I'm going to say this. Draw a card. I'm going to say Roiling Vortex. Uh, Roiling Vortex. Good game. We got them. There you go. Sometimes you just let your opponent win. And by your opponent win, your opponent dies in 20 turns because they... Because <laughs> they have their Roiling Vortex out. They thought they were cheeky. They thought they were fun and special. But really, we got them. All right. We'll play one more. We'll get some Enchanter's Control in here. I mean, nothing makes me happier than having your opponent basically complete... Oh, that was so good. Oh, that made Mono Red look so bad. Leyline. Leyline. This is what I was saying about the Leyline. Leyline, you just put in a play and your opponent's 50% of their deck doesn't work. It's awesome. Is Leyline good enough to play without lands? It's not. It's a joke. Uh, but this is this is the kind of deck we want to see. We got to bring in Rest in Peace from the sideboard too. It'll be pretty good. Torpor Orb's pretty amazing. Leyline's really good. Do we do it? Can they beat us through if we just draw lands? Do we keep the no land? No. Uh, we'll we'll keep this though. We'll keep just a solid hand. Ah, oh, they're gonna thought seize the crap out of us, but that's fine. We'll keep, we'll put Ajano away. Uh, we will put Castle Garenberg away. They're going to turn one, Thought Seize. It's going to suck. Or they're going to like Dragon Rage Channeler, loot, 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 win. Which also would suck, but... Okay, nothing. You see what we draw? You guys see what we draw? What we draw? It? What do we draw? Nice. Well, we'll play it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. They draw a card. Bobble. Yep. Looks good. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just draw it. Nice. Okay, well. Uh, I think I'm gonna shock crack. Uh, do I wanna shock? Yeah, I'm gonna shock. Play the castle. Play Sithis. I'm gonna kill it. But it's okay. The Bofa Man. Okay, Bofa Man's pretty good. Bofa Man's really good against it, this. The, yeah, this is... We we really want a Ley Line. Uh, I could... Gideon's Intervention Bofa. Woo! Look at them go. I got a Banshee Light Bofa, though. Bofaning Light... Silly guy. Silly little duo. They're going to probably search for a Fatal Push to kill Sithis, is what I would guess. Which is actually fine, because then when my Banishing Light will just, uh... Or maybe they're just getting a Seize. Thought Seize? Dragon Race Channeler? Nothing? Okay, nothing is their choice. Oh, nothing. A second. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. No! What are they going to take? Leyline? Emrakul? Gideon's Intervention?
Yeah, Gideon's intervention. Jesus, look at this. Look at this hand. It's fine. We're still gonna we're still gonna play the Leyline Sanctity. We're gonna put yep. Cat to hand. All right, so we can uh, can start making tokens to block the bowmasters. Uh, not the game plan we were expecting, but the game plan we deserve. Got him. Sure. There's Luris. There's a Bofa. Who are you gonna target? Okay. Get rid of that. Vanishing light. Loris. Nailed it. Heroic intervention up. Uh <laughs> Yes. Something else we gotta get rid of. Underworld Breach. Not great for us. What can they do? I guess they can just Demonic Tutor? What are they tutor for, though? Yeah, Dark Ritual. Got him. Okay. I mean, they can cast a lot of stuff, but we still have our Banishing Light in play, right? Or our Leyline Sanctity. And we also have a Heroic Intervention if they try and... If they find a way to destroy our stuff. So they have lots of mana. But I don't know what they're going to do. All this is fine. Sure. Yeah, stitch your supplier. Get him. Yeah, and you can like... Yeah, play another one. Sure. Got him. Nice. Pull out of one ones. <laughs> yep. Landing graveyard. Landing graveyard. Bobble. I'll take three. I'm not going to cast anything. I'm just going to make one one some block. Yeah, that's a problem. Uh, that's game. Okay. So, we, uh, yeah, we need the thing. We're gonna get rid of Heroic Intervention. We're gonna get rid of Approach and probably, uh, maybe not Splenda. Splenda's a nice way to end the game. Uh, Torp Orb's good. Halo's great. All of these Shroud things are good as well. So, I think we're gonna go down an Omen Path. We're gonna go up Rest in peace. Uh, authority? No. Swords? No. We could brain them. I think just the rest in pieces will be fine. Oh, we need one more card? We need one more card, which uh, I guess I'll just put in... Stone brain? No. Ghostly prison? Ghostly prison's kind of funny. We'll do that. They don't have too many ways in black and red to get rid of our enchantments. Um, other than... Feed the swarm, which I'm sure they're going to bring in. Unless they, like, invoke Despair, but Leyline gets around that. Ah, no Leyline. I don't know if we can keep it without a Leyline. 
the wrong ley line. Uh, we're gonna try it out though. Let's put this away. Torpor orb might be able to do it. Yeah, this is the gate deck game where we just want our ley line, which is a problem with playing 69 cards because we're just getting thoughts east. Yeah. We can take a Sterling Grove, maybe. Gideon's intervention is a pretty good one. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Uh, we're pretty boned here, but that's uh, that's the way it goes. Sometimes you uh, win by the deck, lose by the deck. There's our castle. We do need green mana. Oh my god! It's it's so su it's such a it's such a stupid card. Okay, we're gonna banishing light that though. We don't need to play around with this. Yeah, thought sees. Never mind. We're not gonna banishing light anything. Hopefully, we just top deck a land and we can just Ixalan's binding dragon rage channeler. Oh they, oh, they took Sterling Grove? Okay, so they have a Feed the Swarm in hand. Right, so we're definitely just going to Banishing Light. Dragon Rage. Yep, there, there she is. And we can't cast anything. Looking bad. So they can just... I guess they can't really cast anything with their Lurus. So they're not going to play it at all. That would make the most sense. We'll banish the Bowmaster. It's doing pretty good work because they can't bring it back with Luris if we banish it. But, be the swarm. Yep. And the Bowmaster. We're going to take some more damage. And they got a bigger thing. Uh, hate to see it. It's taunting us now. The deck is taunting us. The deck is taunting us. Sure, you can take Sanctum Weaver, our good pal who would have been really good with our Sterling Grove. Sure, are you gonna thought seize us again? This seems so bad. All right, I mean, go ahead. All right, we got wrecked. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, they're gonna bobble us. Double bobble, draw two cards. Pretty rough. Uh, Alright, that's enough of that. We'll play one more. I do think this is one of our better matchups. We just drew... They're not correct cards. It happens. Uh, yeah, we basically want Leyline for that matchup. First and foremost, and then, obviously, <laughs> we want to draw stuff that, uh, we want to basically draw how we drew against Mono Red. We just want to draw how we drew against Mono Red every game. 
Uh, but the reason we're playing more cards than 60 is because sometimes you mill yourself up. And you don't want that. Uh, it looks fine, but I think we actually have to mulligan this. If we had a green source, it'd be better. Uh, this hand looks better. We're going to keep... Put Splenda away. We're going to get Thoughtseize turn... Oh, we're not, we're not Thoughtseize turn one. That's good. Uh, hopefully it's land. Yep. Nyctos on top. Uh, we just got to pray our Sanctum Weaver lives. And if Sanctum Weaver lives, that means we can Omen Path Journey. Omen Path Journey will be good. Uh, if not, we can just enchant for Pleasance. Praise But I have a feeling Sanctum Weaver will die. If our opponent knows what's good for him, Sanctum Weaver will die. Does our opponent know what's good for them? They do not. They are playing life gain. This is... We're going to slam dunk this. Yeah, we're just going to own Path Journey. No respect. No respect for what they're doing. Uh, we are going to Arden Bale, Garen Brig, Field of the Dead, Labyrinth, and Prairie. Bunch of random cards. There's the Prairie. It's called deck thinning. Own Path Journey is very good at deck thinning. Come on, did we get something else though? Love to see it. I'll take that. I don't. I don't even care. We ramped once. Deck thinned. They have this thing. Okay, well, we gotta get rid of one of those. Uh, probably righteous Valkyrie. We'll get rid of. Uh, we're gonna do this. Actually, that's kind of great. So we're just gonna do Torpor Orb. Chantress's presence. Banishing Light. Get rid of Veto. Leyline of Sanctity. Draw a card. And a Pester. Uh, target opponent. It does target, so that's, that's interesting. Okay, they cracked their land to do this. That's very funny. They're still... Not at the appropriate life total. Now we're just going to approach. Restless Prairie. Get in. Hell yeah. Got him. <laughs> Woo! All right. They have the Fortress that's restless, we have the Prairie that's restless. Uh, their life total is lower than they need it to be. Torpor Orb is here having fun. Sure, gain nothing. Tapped. We will play this game. Draw a card. Not to nick those. Not what we're looking for. Do we just prairie and attack with uh, the prairie? I don't think so. I think we just hold off. No attacks. Pass. It's going to be very hard for them to deal 17 damage to us. They can't activate Resplendent Angel. Torpor Orb is shutting off their life gain. Pretty good shape. Okay, they're going to dark. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're going to resplendent? Okay, that's, that's fine. Yep. Got us. You got us. Okay. Make your thing. So I'm going to cast a greater Oromancy. Draw a card. Uh, do I lose? It's looking like I lose. Uh, I can't... I didn't draw another... Oh my god. This puts on the top of my deck. I should have done this and then Greater Oromancy, I guess. Hmm. That's that. Uh, hold on. Ten. So they attack with everything. Four... 
Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Not dead yet. Technically, I can do this. Fuck the prairie. They don't draw land, I don't die. And I might be able to win. <laughs> so let's see. Yes! Alright, so let's see if I get there. No life gain. Perfect. Okay. I'll take four. My turn. So I have to hit another land, another thing. So I'm going to, well, I mean, I guess I say Righteous Valkyrie. Do I draw a, I drew an enchantment. I win the game. It doesn't matter. I'm going to say this. Cast this. I'm going to honk the goose. Approach. Win the game. Oh, yeah. Well, that was fun. Uh, swords. Final showdown. Um, <laughs> I don't know. That's it, right? That's all I need. Uh, Splenda's good. Emrakul's good. Own Path Journey will go down one of those because they have Fragment Reality. Heroic Intervention's pretty funny. Torporb is, uh, Torporb is gas. Uh, Banishing Light's good. Excellence Binding. And everything's good. I think the Ley Lines of Sanctity might be the worst ones. So we're going to go down those, because they're just going to... I mean, they might have thought Thoughtseize. Uh, it stops Veto. But... I'm, I'm, I think uh, I think this is a... Uh... Oh, it's a bounce land. The one bounce land. We're going to keep though. We're going to try it out. Oh yeah, perfect. Uh, so yeah, we're going to rest this prairie. Then we can just Sterling Grove next turn. In a Sanctum Weaver, and we should be able to just Gideon's intervention our way to victory. Uh, land, we're gonna Sterling Grove. Good stuff. Righteous Valkyrie in play. Uh, we are going to do this then. Archway. Bring back the planes. We're going to put Veto, I think. We're going to Gideon's Intervention Veto. They can't get Sanctum Weaver. We do want to just get rid of these. But yeah, I think Gideon's intervention on Vito would be good. I could also just Righteous Valkyrie and just make sure they can't play anymore. This is their only threat right now. Sure. Do we get anything? Nope. Okay, the longest goodbye. A classic. So yeah, we're just gonna say Righteous Valkyrie. Ooh. Uh, we're going to say Veto on this, and then right to, Ruined Halo of White Rage's Valkyrie. Veto. Uh, Thorn of the Dusk Rose. Uh, what, which one is it? I think it's... Thorn of the Dusk Rose, right? It's not the Fanatic? I hope this is the right one. Okay, good. Uh, oh, well, I guess we could just do that to Righteous Valkyrie. Righteous Valkyrie. Ugh. 
Okay. We're going to have to start holding up this heroic intervention, though. So they probably have a veto, looking to exquisite blood veto us. Uh, does it deal damage? Whenever an opponent loses life, you gain that much life. Veto. Veto is the target, so. Okay, you deal nothing, you gain nothing. That's fun, I'm gonna do this. Uh, we're probably just gonna crack this now. Yeah, you can gain your life. Good stuff. Uh, <laughs> I guess we get a forest. Sit this. And Greater Aromancy. I think that's the best way about this. They're going to kill it. Goodbye. We still got to draw a card, gain our life. And that's a good protection. Awesome. Uh, what's the other one? Exquisite Blood and... Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember what it is. Uh, but what can we also say? Resplendent Angel? Yep. We're going to say Resplendent Angel. Uh, Resplendent Angel. And pass turn. Okay. Play a land. Uh, what is it? Restless. Restless Citadel? Restless Fortress. Restless Fortress. That's the one, right? Nailed it. Okay. Now we just uh, wait till we draw Emrakul and win the game. Nice. Uh, we'll do this. I'm having fun. I'm having lots of fun. Our one of heroic intervention? Very fun. So we, we have 52 cards. They have 51 cards. We can mill them out. We'll give him a little love. We'll honk the goose. No! <laughs> what are they going to ruin to Halo? <laughs> nice tech, bro. What's up? What's this? All right, I love it. Oh, okay. What are you gonna brain me for? I I don't actually care. I have no idea. Like, what do they name? Can't wait. I can't wait to honk the goose. Approach of the second sun is going to be right. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that is like my alt, 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 win condition. You got it. Oh, this is perfect. I'm so happy I played another game. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Let's just, let's just put the ball in play. How do you like the ball? Ball's in your court, right, just Valkyrie? <laughs> okay. Nice. Ooh, what else can we cast? I guess we could do it on Fragment Reality. Uh, Torpor of Exquisite Blood. Uh, what's the other one? Squ 
exquisite blood. There's a combo with exquisite blood that's like a, another enchantment. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna play a little Google gaming right now. That's that's what I need in this. Uh, exquisite blood combo. Exquisite blood combo. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, exquisite blood sanguine bond. That's what I'm gonna cast. Let's do it on. Just in case. Sanguine bond. And let's see if that actually works. Sanguine bond. Never you gain life. Target opponent. Yeah, perfect. Okay, good. All right, there you go. Original combo. Some old school stuff right there. Oh, okay. Get lost, dude. My turn. We'll play a land. Uh, I'll animate my prairie. Use up our maps. Uh, yeah, I'll keep Overwhelming Splendor on top. That sounds good. No attacks, and the turn. Yep. Well, let's give him some Splenda. Nice. That's a very nice 1-1 one, one Righteous Valkyrie. I mean, if they've tried Fragment Reality in my Splendor, at least I'll get something else. Oh my god. They're gonna try and Sithis me? Hilarious. Oh, I mean, have at it. I'll just block. <laughs> oh, reanimate. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna block. Yeah, you have protection, but it's not Gideon's intervention. Your creatures don't have protection from it. Uh, there you go. Uh, I would like one of my Omen Path journeys, or, you know, just, just, uh, what, a Field of the Dead. Sage is really funny. I'm gonna hold on to that. Okay, we're doing pretty well. Leyline of Sanctity is in play. Okay, pass. Yeah, well, here's a passage. I'm actually gonna blow up the rune halo. Uh, because it's it's prairie time. It is prairie time. Yeehaw. They're gonna get a land that probably lets them surveil. Nice. I'm gonna swords the uh no, I'm not gonna swords it. I can't get him with it, so uh Restless Prairie, we're getting in. 5-5 five, five Llama. There you go. And the turn. Yeah. What are we braining? It's a target opponent. Yeah, I could I could I could technically ruined Halo Stone Brain. Helping hand. Okay. Nice 1-1. One, one. They're not doing anything with it? That's awesome. I mean, Prairie can end the game. It's a pretty fast clock now that's a 5-5. Five, five. Uh, prevent all damage. Your opponents can't cast spells. What do I name? Get lost. So they can't cast get lost. They can't blow up my enchantments or artifacts. Or my enchantments or creatures with that. Okay, they're blocking. I have a... Uh, I have four of a kind. My Gideon's Interventions. Showing off all their beautiful... Painted Remedy. Okay. I mean... 
We're not really here to gain life, so... Uh, yeah, let's just cast it. We can't target them. Uh, and they likely don't have any instants to deal with this, so... Or any non-instance to deal with it. Getting in. Uh, they could settle the wreckage me. That would be pretty funny. Don't know what they're out. Oh, they're dead. I'm just going to attack. We've promised the end. No settle the wreckage. No Tefri's protection. Alright. Give him the honk. Give him the good game. And, uh... That's beautiful. Ah. Uh, our first game, super close. Right down to the wire. We got them, though. And, uh... This is, uh, this was beautiful, too. They, uh, they tried to ruin Halo us. But... Little did they know, our hats were better. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one, and bye for now.